2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain. Allumage de ZAP, décollage. Rising above Europe's spaceport in French Guyana, Bepi Colombo begins its 5 billion mile journey to Mercury. The four ton spacecraft only just fitted inside the shell of the Ariane rocket. It'll remain in orbit around the Earth for several weeks while Mission Control prepares it for the seven year journey to the closest planet to the Sun. It'll have to resist our star's strong gravity all the way. It's a controlled fall towards the sun, but we need to slow down dramatically actually to get there. We do planetary swim bys, we use electric propulsion, which is a novelty for us. And once we get to Mercury, we have to fly in this environment, first delivering a Japanese spacecraft around the planet, then actually moving our spacecraft down to a lower orbit. So it's a very complex mission. The two orbiters will study Mercury's structure and its magnetic field. The planet is something of a mystery because it's hard to see from Earth. Two earlier NASA missions revealed a heavily cratered planet with temperatures exceeding 400 degrees. There's evidence from the Messenger mission, the previous mission to Mercury, um, that has discovered that there, in the permanently shadowed craters at the pole, there's evidence for, for water ice, which is intriguing given that we're talking about the planet that's so close to the centre of our solar system and the sun uh, and it's such an extremely challenging environment in terms of the temperature it's then very surprising that you would find ice. Engineers have covered the spacecraft in a hand-stitched insulating blanket with 72 layers of aluminium, plastic and ceramic which should help keep the delicate electronics at room temperature Bepi is designed to operate for at least a year and could find clues to how Mercury formed and how it survives in an orbit so perilously close to the sun. Thomas Moore, Sky News.